We showed some videos of the flooding in Beijing that was just devastating video. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Uh, I came across something. I, I wonder if you heard of this. Reports and videos smuggled out of heavily flooded areas in Hebei, northeast China, this week indicate that villagers have spent much of their week defending their homes from Communist Party officials trying to flood them to redirect water away from Beijing and Xi Jinping's pet project, the planned future metropolis of Xiangan. Is that is that word getting? I mean, these people are physically fighting against the Chinese communists. I mean, bravo. Have you heard anything about that? Thank you, Hutch, for mentioning that. And thank you for, you know, everyone who were overseas and, and paying attention and caring about, you know, things that, that the floods, uh, you know, taking place in Beijing and Hebei and in many other close by provinces and cities in China. Well, I think that there are lots of people, lots of freedom loving Chinese people who are fighting against the Chinese Communist Party in their own ways, even though they were physically in mainland, that they've come out, you know, a smart way and then they've come out the courage to speak against the Chinese Communist Party. There are lots of videos showing that, you know, the local Chinese people who were challenging the police saying that, please tell us, you know, why would the flood coming over here? And why were you coming here to tell people to take off the camera first without saying anything? And, and for every summer that there are always floods in, in, in China, and, and there are always villages that were namely as silenced villages after the, the disaster, the Chinese Communist Party's only concern was to ask people to not not to film, not to go on to broadcast, not to speak about the numbers of the people who have lost their lives, you know, in this floods. And in fact, that on the other side, they were asking, you know, the society to donate money to, for the rescue missions. And, and in fact, that these monies was taken by the Chinese Communist Party, uh, ultimately. So I think that, you know, for everybody who were caring about, you know, lives, who are caring about freedom, thinking about the suffering that the Chinese Communist Party had made to its own citizens. If you were live in China, right? If the flood came over, the first thing that the police came over to you was to take away your phones, was to take away your communications, stop the electricity and stop providing the food for you. This is how the CCP treats humankind. It's not only Chinese people. Mm.